Have you seen Wendell? Uh, not today. Hi, guys. Oh, I like what you've done with your fur, Wendell. Thanks. I was inspired to do a new fur style. I like the marriage of Figaro so much that I'm seeing the Barber of Seville tonight. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the prequel to Marriage of Figaro, right? Yep. I've been doing my homework about it. <clears throat> Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Wow, Wendell, I never knew you had such a low voice. Yeah, it's been that way ever since monster puberty. Oh, I hear ya. I really like the music in Barber of Seville. I remember hearing it in Bugs Bunny, Mrs. Doubtfire, The Simpsons, Legally Blonde, A Clockwork Orange. Wait, wait, wait. It's in Legally Blonde and A Clockwork Orange? Opera appeals to all tastes. So. The story is that Count Almaviva is in love with the beautiful Rosina. But Rosina is the ward of grumpy old Dr. Bartolo, who wants to marry her, so he keeps her locked up and away from other men. What's with always locking women up in these stories? Rapunzel, Fiona, Joanna, and Sweeney Todd? Yeah, but in this story, the barber doesn't kill anybody. Right. The Count gets his old servant and barber Figaro to help him woo Rosina. And the Count disguises himself as a soldier so that Rosina doesn't know that he's rich. Why does he hide being rich? Well, the Count wants Rosina to love him, not his piles and piles of money. Mm, mo' money, mo' problems. Word. So Figaro exchanges secret love letters between them. The Count sneaks into Rosina's house, a few more disguises get used, and we wait to see if the Count and Rosina get together. And that they don't get killed by a scary barber. No, we want to see if true love conquers all. Well, primp up those feathers, girl, and let's go see. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> see you at the San Francisco Opera. <laughs> <laughs>